tutorial on how to animate like Domix, but Domix uses um, Adobe Flash CS6, and we're not going to do that. We're going to try and do it low budget. So um, I'm using Manga Studio or Clip Studio Paint, same thing. You could easily do this in GIMP. Um, for animating, we're going. I'm going to use Anime Studio, but you can do this in Synfig, and maybe I'll try and show you how to do it. So as you can see here, I've got um, a, a Domix looking character. And what I've done is I've created his body and his head separately. And I've also created his arms separately. Um, because he basically just animates his arms a bit and maybe sometimes the body. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to um, animate the first part of his racist flight attendant. And that's from a five seconds to eight seconds. So this is only really three seconds of um, animation. Um, since most of it is voiceover, um, it's pretty easy. So um, what I've done is I've done the arms here and um, what I'm going to do is, as you can see, that the arm kind of shows through some of the body bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a... Um, this is all done in vectors, but in uh, GIMP you could easily do this in rasters, but I would suggest you do it this way, similar in GIMP. Create another layer and below that, uh, make that layer below and then paint out with white the parts you don't want. So I'm just going to paint out this part. And I'm not going to be too careful about it. There. And I'm going to do that for all of the other ones. Create a raster. Oops. Create a raster layer. And paint out the parts, the back parts. Now this is not a drawing tutorial, this is really an animation tutorial. So I'm just showing you how I'm just doing this part. Just so you get an idea. Now I suggest people use GIMP. I've seen people use um, Paint to do uh, animation. And um, you, you might as well use a, the better program if you can. If you can, and it's GIMP is, is for Windows and Mac. Um, okay, so here's our character. And here's him going through his arms. And they're not perfect, but it's good enough. So next we've got his head. And basically uh, he has two sets of eyes. Um, and a mouth. Now what we're going to do is we're going to animate his mouth. So the, we're going to have multiple mouth movements. So um, Domix has, uses this particular um, uh, mouth shapes and um, this is for me I'm going to use Papagayo to animate the mouth. Um, Papagayo is going to allow us to do text to, to uh, the, the phonemes which are these file names. Now um, I have other uh, tutorials on how to do that so um, you know go see those tutorials to see how to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the, uh, the recording now and create the mouths uh, in, under this folder here. Okay, I'm about to create the mouse, and I find creating the AI mouse is the, the best one to start with. So what I've done is I've uh, made a smaller brush, and in this particular case I am not going to use um, Vector, I'm going to use a raster, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm just going to draw, and I've left the previous mouth in for reference, I just grade it down a bit, and I'm just going to draw the equivalent of what he's got here. And really it doesn't matter. I could, if I wanted to spend a little bit more time, I could use the vector. It's just because I can use the erasing better. But I'm not really, don't really care. And I'm just going to fill this in. And the paint bucket thing in uh, Clip Studio Paint is really good. So that won't work. So then we'll do the E. We'll create a new raster layer and just name it 
<clears throat> uh, where's E? Oh, here's E, so. see I'm doing the different mouths. So what I'm going to do is uh, stop the recording and uh, quickly do all the mouths and then come back. Okay, as you can see, I've made all the mouths. So I will start with AI and there's the AI, E, etc. F, E, L, MBP and resting and O, U, and W, Q, and I'm, you can do them like Dom makes this done here, but I'm just making them short so to get them done quick. So here's my mouse, I've got my head, and my eyes, and now it comes, it comes the time to export them. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to export, first of all, just the body. And now I'm not going to paint this. You can paint the body because I mean if you have a blank background then you can do whatever you want. But I'm just going to do this so this video um, animation will be um, this animation will be all done in white. Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to export the body And I export them as PNGs, and you should always export as PNGs because way, that way you have um, um, transparency. And I'm just going to have. Now I'm going to remove the background. And I'm just going to call them Arm 1, Arm 2, Arm 3. Now you could also make, make these files smaller by taking them into another program and cropping them, which usually I do that in GIMP. And we got all our arms, and now let's have the head. And so we don't want the eyes, we just want the head, we don't want the mouth. We have to do that separately. We're going to export the head. have to export the eyes now we're going to export the mouse and I'll basically I'm just going to quickly show you how I do this I'm just going to export AI and I make sure I use the same naming convention as here AI and make them PNGs, so there's whether uppercase and lowercase, that is important. Uh, that's important for Papagayo. So I'm just going to blank that out. Do this, AI. E. Okay, I'm gonna quickly um, export all these guys out. Okay, as you can see, I've got all, all my parts here. This is the actual um, file, the, um, the uh, Clip Studio Paint file, but we don't need to worry about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to put my mouths in it. And I always find it's easier to put those in there for organization. So I'm going to grab all my mouths. there accidentally so uh, just do it the hard way get rid of the duplicates in a second this does look so good that I have to clean it up though Let's 
good. So I should have 10 files. And I do. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag, I'm going to get my get GIMP over. I'm going to drag it into GIMP. And then I'm going to go get the rest of my mouths. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically make them smaller. First of all, I'm going to create a new layer group. And I'm going to move this in, and you'll see why I do this in a second. And it's for making actually I don't need to do that anyways now I can see the well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the mouse smaller so they don't take up as much space so I'm going to clip the crop the image to selection and now I'm just going to go through and resave the file so here I'm going to overwrite AI, and here now I'm going to have to carefully choose the ones I want. So I want E, and replace it, and you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to go through and do that. Okay, I've export. Okay, I've exported them all out. As you can see now, they're a lot bigger. And now I'm going to whip over to Papagayo and I'm going to um, create the voice track for Papagayo. So I'll be back. Okay, I've got Audacity up. I'm just going to record my, my the uh, audio. I don't know if she's racist, but I'm saying she's racist. And that was the audio. And I'm going to go into Papagayo and uh, convert it to text. Okay, I saved the Audacity file in a WAV file and I brought it into Papagayo and I messed around with this stuff and I won't show you how to do it. It's in uh, other tutorials online and I think online. I don't know if she's racist, but I'm saying she's racist. So, um, from here you, I'm going to export it and I'm going to import that into um, Anime Studio and I'm also going to uh, import it into Synfig so we can see how that works in Synfig and then you'll be able to see that on my other tutorials how to export it for Synfig. Okay for the um, file to work in Synfig you're going to have to add two things you're going to have to add frames per second that's 24 and PNG in the file type and then you need to save it out as a .list file so I'm going to save it out as a .list file. 